feeling a bit depressed. Uh, yes. <laughs> and it's family. not what you think. It's, it, it, we've just lost in, in, in our football league. Um, so it's not depressed because there's no English teams in the <laughs> quarterfinals <laughs> for the first time since 1996. But that is, of course, true. And meanwhile, there are three Spanish teams. And I think we thought that it would be a good idea to talk about how it happened because these are three Spanish teams that, after the first leg, appeared to be in trouble. Three Spanish teams who've all won in the second leg, two of them at home, one of them away from home, at Old Trafford, by the way. However much we talk about the referee, Real Madrid won at Old Trafford. And Spanish football all of a sudden looks really quite good, doesn't it? And the same three teams that two defeats and one draw yeah. in the first yeah. leg. Yeah, and, so. and, and really good performances in the second leg yeah. as well. Now, of course, both Malaga and Real Madrid had a red card, which perhaps facilitated things, yeah. but, but Barcelona were, were spectacular against yeah. Milan. Yeah. Uh, Madrid, I thought, played really, really well against yeah. Manchester United once Modric on the pitch. Let's be they honest, changed their mind. Are, uh, honest uh, people. Uh, we all said that uh, Milan would have uh, gone through. Yep. So. Well no, done, no, but, yeah. but, but I, now we can discuss I, why. I remember what Gerard Piquet has said, uh, and also what Xavi has said. If, if they, they, they have to prove people wrong, you know, they have to yeah, prove no. the media wrong. They have to to step yeah. up and, and well, show. He, 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 tried, he tried to say that it wasn't about that, didn't he? But you could um, uh, PK because PK's yeah. pre-match press conference was, was yeah, very much very a kind good. of here I am. I'm sending yeah. a message to all of you. He's yeah. Guardiola. It, He's Guardiola. It, it was like Guardiola. He's the extension it was, yeah. of Guardiola. It was very much like Guardiola. It was, and he, was impressive. He tried to yeah. say that it wasn't about shutting mouths, but at the same time, it, it clearly was a message for external consumption yeah. and internal consumption. It was about saying to people, right, let's stop. It's balling around, and let's go and do the things we know yeah. we can do well. Yeah, and they were they were brilliant. Uh, but they were on edge, by the way. We were all saying they're going to go out. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, Niang hits the post. There's yeah. a chance at the end where Bojan crosses, and, and, and Alba makes a brilliant inception. It's true that Milan created little, but the yeah, smallest but they, they detail enough. could have put them out. But to be honest, uh, they, uh, I think they they have deserved what they. Absolutely, I mean, I mean, they scored. Absolutely, they were yeah. the best team on the pitch. Yeah, they yeah. were they were the best team. In, in all 180 minutes, I, I think, because yeah, they because did really, Milan, really bad in the Milan first half. Had, had all the luck in the first half, everything went perfectly well. And everything went perfectly well for Barcelona, for Barcelona in the second. Because obviously, what, what I was thinking, obviously, you know, um, it's uh, um, uh, well, we do me for the, the, the Spanish version. I think that Xavi was, was yes. the key man. Uh, you know, he, he played in the, in the second leg against Real Madrid when they went out in the Copa del Rey. Uh, then he decided to rest, came back only for this game. Now he's resting again. And during his rest, he worked a lot. He took out Messi, went to, for dinner, and then went with Puyol. Then the team yeah. dined the, together. The autogestion that we yeah, were talking, exactly. it didn't work. Well, how do you and say And then that? he did the, the interview. Yeah, sort of the self, interview he did with self-governing or the self-managing, self-management yeah. self okay. of the, the interview Barcelona with team. El Mundo Deportivo that comes out on Friday. The game was on Tuesday, and four days before it. All the keys, tactical keys, were there. Yeah, yeah. So, no, so. But, but but I think that the, 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 the most important pillars in the locker room understood yes. that they have to step up. Yeah. And, and, Without and try the manager, to solve, they yes. have to do something. Yeah. The poor yeah. poor Rora, he couldn't do anything, uh, everything, and and also uh, Tito still is away, so they had to do something, and uh, they understood it. There, there's there, a there, it was clear that yeah. they changed, they they, they, they they changed some things, but but fundamentally, Mascherano's phrase I think is the right one. That they they went back to their origins. They did some of the basics that they'd stopped doing. Yeah. The pressure was higher. Yeah. Messi was close to the forwards instead yeah. of close to the midfielders. Uh, Dani Alves was higher at the pitch. But there was a couple of uh, there were a couple of small tactical shifts which were interesting, and, and perhaps the most interesting is Villa. Yeah. Not just that Villa is, was in the team, which the fans were calling for anyway. Yeah. But instead of being in the team on the left hand side of the yeah, front three, the he was nine. more or less in the yeah. middle. Yeah. He was more or less in the middle. He, he was doing the, the dirty job of, yeah, and of, also of the team. He gave, funny enough, he gave more space to Messi because well, normally. What said afterwards, wasn't it? Yes. He said that he, he apparently the, the, he Messi picks the centre back exactly. No, and, and then I think there is also a message in the starting eleven, uh, and he's saying, leaving Pujol, you know, um, yeah. apart, is there's a message saying, these are the guys. They have to do the job. Yeah. I mean, the most important guys, the guys that make more money, uh, the, exactly. the Villas, the Pedro, the guys that are champions. The, the, the players that, that were on the pitch the other day were the players that have won World Cups, yeah. <laughs> Champions League. A very, a very quick know. aside, a very quick aside. One player who wasn't on the pitch and didn't get on at all is Cesc Fabregas. And, and I think what this was, was possibly, I mean, I might be exaggerating this, but possibly a recognition that you can't just force all your best midfielders onto the pitch yes. just because they're good players. Yeah. You, you have to be more rational about, I, I about the way you that, occupy eh? space. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I think that Pedro was not a, a, a good option uh, to start. But, yeah, but, but, yeah, but, but it was talking about, it, but no, it was no, talk, yeah, exactly, yeah, but yeah, it, what yeah, I mean yeah. is, it wasn't about Pedro is better than Cesc. It wasn't about Cesc isn't a good player. No, it was no, about no. a rational occupation yeah, exactly. of space. Yeah. And, I, and true, I, yeah. I felt that they've, they, they've at times tried too hard to go, right, we've got four great Midfielders, let's put them all in. 
Yeah, but right. it doesn't work. It doesn't matter. Put them all in. And then on top of that, Messi coming too close to them. This time, they managed to get Messi away from the midfield. Yeah. Further up the pitch. And also, instead of there being that extra man not really sure where to go, he wasn't on the pitch at all. The final thought on Malaga. Uh, I, I was there at the Rosaleda yesterday. Uh, I was quite sure that Porto would have gone through because for, for experience, uh, because they were coming in a, in a very good moment. Malaga scored one goal in four games. And then, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a fantastic result. And no one could, could think about it. And Pellegrini, second team, had his debut on the Champions League, arriving to the quarterfinals with Villarreal to the semi finals. Yeah, there's, there's, there's something that we have to to address here, which is that uh, Malaga is a club that has a lot of uh, owns a, a lot of money. Uh, no, own, owns, no, uh, well, debe, debe. Oh, yeah, uh, owes a lot of money. Owes, owes, owes a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, they, are, they have done something that is, is not, uh, you know, good for the business, which yeah. is, it, it, it's not a good uh, uh, for, for the rest of the teams that are competing yeah. in Europe. Which is that you know yeah. they are not and paying the this, salaries, yeah. they are not paying. And they they are, are not, not playing in Europe in, in the next season. Okay, there is a sentence that but, is. Uh, but I think that the, the goal yeah. and, and the price is for the players and the coach exactly. that they have believed in this in this team in this group. Yeah. Uh, they, these players didn't have <laughs> the, the, the the security of having a club yeah, exactly. uh, to play for. Three months ago, no, yeah. well, three months not, six months ago. Really well. there's, there's, there's a really key moment which hasn't been talked about much in the Spanish media, which is in midway through last season, when 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 the players started to go, hang on, we haven't been paid, and they, yeah. they started to, to to really think this yeah. is a genuine problem. It's not just a one month where it's gone wrong. This is starting to be a problem, and at that point, Malaga's results dropped really badly. And one of the things that happened internally was that some of the players got irritated with Pellegrini because they felt. But look, you've got to fight our corner. It's no good you going to a club and saying, buy me this player. No, go to a club and say, pay my bloody players yeah, that yeah. are currently playing. And what happened at that stage was, was that created a nexus, a union between the, those players and Pellegrini, yeah. which I think has, has, has survived until now. And Pellegrini, from that moment onwards, and possibly even to some extent even building up to that moment, but that moment changed things. From that moment onwards, has created a really good bond with his yeah. dressing room, has created a really good sense of almost togetherness against the club. Now, I know that sounds overstrong, and it is a bit overstrong, but that sense of, right, we'll deal with this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't yeah. worry about the board, don't worry about everything else, we'll deal with this. And, and their, their attitude's been superb. Ciao. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao? Yeah, you're really... Finito. Ah. Finito. So, three yeah. Spanish teams, no English, no English ones. <laughs> and no X-Men, but by the way. But, uh...